In this video, we are going to be comparing the Adidas Adizirite Pro 3 against the Socony Dolphin Pro 3. What is up, everybody, and welcome to Fully Runs and Super Shoe HQ. Do you own either of these, the pink ones or the black and green ones? Let me know in the comments and how have you been getting on with them? And also, do you think this is a fair comparison video to make? I was looking at the Adi Zero Pro and thinking, should I be comparing it to the Alpha Fly? But I was looking at this more from a cost point of view because this is 200, I'm looking at me now, it's 210. This is 220. So the Alpha Fly is like 275. So from a cost point of view, I think this is probably more realistic in terms of where we're at. And also, I think um, stack heights, foams, that kind of thing. I'm wondering whether it's a similar deal. Although you could argue that the new um, Endorphin, what is it, Elite Pro, whatever they're calling it, it's coming out, could be a better comparison, I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to compare these two because um, I'm kind of, I'm in an R in between them and I'll tell you why in just a sec. Right, okay, so um, the reason I've got this is because I'm, I'm thinking half marathon shoe here. I am tempted to run these in a marathon and I'm undecided, but half marathons for sure. This is my half marathon shoe of the year, the Pro 3. I absolutely love this shoe. And if I could wear it every day without destroying it, I would. It is, I just love it. It really is a good shoe. Um, we've got Power Run PB midsole. We've got a full length carbon plate. We've got a new uh, barely there upper on the shoe. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the speed roll technology. We've got a new outside on the shoe. It's got eight mil drop, 210 pounds, weighs eight ounces. So that's what, 220 grams, something like that. Um, yeah, and that's the stats and features on there while we're doing it, actually. Then we've got 39 mil stack in the heel. We've got a new six and a half mil drop uh, in the Addy Pro. We've got Cellamesh 2.0, new energy rod system. So they're sort of all combined up and matched up now instead of where they were two components before fits true to size both of these do this is a little bit heavier this is coming in 8.95 ounces so that's 255 grams and 220 pounds and has the most pointless bit of fabric on the rear of the shoe but they both fit great they both feel great underfoot um, slightly different sensations definitely feels more super shoe than this this feels definitely more of a training shoe um, but in, in sort of half marathon distance, I think they can come into their own. For me, I think actually this is more, this is more trainer focused uh, and can offer you value. Uh, if you can only buy one shoe, then you probably go here with the Pro 3 because it can literally do some of those training miles. I wouldn't necessarily do too much training miles in these. And I think that's the clear difference between them. This is definitely your out and out race day, racing or race day shoe that you could probably do one or two speed sessions in. Maybe your goal pace work at the end of that marathon training plan when you're trying to get some of those longer runs with goal pace in. You could go here, but otherwise you sort of bag it up and wait for race day. Where this thing, you can literally do, you know, a lot of your miles in it. Um, although at 210 pounds is, you know, it's quite expensive. But then again, you know, 210 pounds, you want to get your, your money's worth out of it. So it's, it's, it's a funny one. I think if you can only buy one shoe, then you buy the Pro 3. If you can buy a Socony Pro 3, if you can buy two shoes, then you probably buy like the Adi Zero Pro for race day, and then you probably get yourself like a daily trainer to work alongside it. Now that could be a multiple of, uh, of the shoes that we've mentioned on the channel before, but I think this needs something to complement it, where you could probably get away with this just on its own. So there we go. I don't know whether that's helped or not in terms of um, combining the two, comparing the two. Let me know in the comments which one would you go for or, you know, do you think, you know, it's a better comparison to compare this against the Alpha Fly. Right, that's it from me, guys. Only a quick video today. I'll catch you later.